dope. What's going on? Happy Sunday. YMC, JMA, Wealth Builders. It's going to be a quick scope. What's up, Pink Hearts? Appreciate you. What's good, King? It's going to be a quick scope because I got to go eat. I haven't eaten in several hours. Um, but the crazy thing is, right? So, like, look. I mean, you can't really see. Um, but there you go. See my back seat? Just a plain back seat, right? What's good, King? How you doing? Hey, Queen. Hello. But I was backing up in my parking spot as I'm going to eat, right? So I'm going about to grab some grub. And I had a flashback of Green Hearts, Pink Hearts. Um, I had a flashback of the station wagon that my mom had when I was, you know, young in, in middle school, elementary school, high school. My mom bought a ugly green station wagon from our downstairs neighbor. We lived in low income housing. Purple Hearts, I see you. We lived in low income housing. And our neighbor was like, a, uh, they were like, I think like from Iraq or like Arabian, right? You know what I'm saying? Like Middle Eastern. Green hearts, yellow hearts, purple hearts, pink hearts. What's up, King? Peace. So anyway, our neighbor was like Arabian and we bought their 200, we bought their green and brown station wagon for $200. My mom did. And the back of the station wagon faced backwards, right? So like I would ride in the back with my sister. Mind you, it was six of us in a two bedroom apartment. So my mom, my stepfather, uh, myself, my sister Artea, and then my brother Arthur, who we call June, and my sister Joy, right? Oh, no, no actually, Joy wasn't born yet. My cousin Baiz lived with, lived with, lived with us from um, Plainfield, New Jersey. So it's six of us in a two-bedroom apartment, and we're riding a $200 station wagon. And so as I'm backing up in my 750, um, it just, like, brought, it just brought a whole... I don't know, it just brought everything full circle for me. It's like, I don't talk about my story that much. And, you know, I always give God the glory first and foremost, um, just for what he's been able to do in my life. Green hearts, pink hearts, I see you. But it's like, y'all listen to all these, what's up, King Peace? Y'all listen to all these guys on Periscope, all these motivational speakers, these gurus, it's whatever. Man, look. I put my story up against everybody's story. Like, they act like they came from something. Like, I'm talking about six of us in a two-bedroom apartment, low-income housing, with a $200 station wagon. And here I am, sitting at the forefront of a national brand, not only on education, finance, and real estate, but on liberty, justice, and repair for our people. So it's like, to see where... I've come from what God's going to use, do with me as a, as a vessel, as a vehicle for our people. It's like, man, I, you guys should have noticed by now, I'm, I try to remain very humble because I've been very confident to the point of arrogant in my prior life. And so I'm very subconscious about that. I never want to come across arrogant or, or too confident. Um, so that makes people take my humility for weakness. Or humility or my kindness for weakness. But at the end of the day, it's like, I know what I, that's what, you see my Instagram post for you guys, you guys who follow me on Instagram, which most of you should, you should be on Instagram, at Mr. Real Estate. I talked about my story and what I've accomplished in my life. Everybody said I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. And I did everything they said I couldn't do. And it's not about me, it's about the purpose of my life. But what I'm trying to say is like, look at the back seat. We talking about camera look at the back seat new african flag in my back seat always your favorite periscoper your favorite your, your favorite instagram blogger are they carrying a black liberation flag in their back seat your favorite rapper his 750 his german car is he got carrying a new african flag a pan-african flag a black liberation flag i'm about my people so at the end of the day for me it's like pink hearts yellow hearts green hearts orange hearts i see you so at the end of the day, for me, it's like, it's bigger purpose. And on top of that, it's like all odds been against me. All odds. I'm a three-time felon. We talked about President Obama visiting the uh, prisons last couple weeks ago. First president to visit federal prisons. 
I got two homies right now doing 19 years in prison and 12 years in prison for nonviolent drug charges. My first charge in New York was three years to life in prison as an 18 year old felon. Three years to life. This is me, this is my story. I don't know about Grant Cardone and these other guys on Periscope and I, I don't know, Tony Robbins and all these other guys. Like, I don't, all right, whatever you've been through, you've been through. Salute to you. I'm talking about my story. I came off the block, 15 years old, riding a 10 speed bike selling drugs with crack in my hand. To this right here. I don't know about the other guys. I know about me though. Rikers Island, C74, Mod 3 Upper. Rikers Island, Lower Dorm, C74. Roaches and rats in my locker. And I'm sitting here, right here. NBC, Today Show, real estate expert. Celebrity realtor, real estate mogul, mentor, coach, activist, civil rights, and all of that. This is for real. I carried a gun every day of my life for 10 years. They don't compare. These guys not me. They don't have my story, my testimony. And they don't honor God the way I honor God for what he's been able to bring my life to, to be able to empower us. See, I know... Um, I know it's a larger purpose for my life outside of just, which I didn't know before, outside of just getting money. It's not about money, man. It's money, money, money comes, money goes. Clothes go, clothes goes. Cars go. You lease a car, you buy a car, it goes. But what I'm fighting for right now is liberty, justice, and repair for new African people. New Africans being the descendants of African slaves in America, the ones who never got justice who never got liberty, who never got repair, the ones who social suffer from social, economic, and political oppression. Yeah, us. I'm fighting for us. Tell your favorite rapper that. Tweet your favorite rapper that. He talking about his chains in his cars. What's up with our freedom? So when I talk about my story, what I'm doing, and my purpose, purple hearts, I see you, orange hearts, pink hearts, I see you. So when I, I talk about my story, yeah, everyone around me gotta be authentic. You gotta be 100, 1,000. You gotta be about this. I'm not about glitz and glamour and fancy suits and handkerchiefs, man. I'm not, it's not about a look. This is about the real deal. Riding, dying, fighting for your people. Asada Shakur shit, Tupac Shakur shit, Marcus Garvey shit. Y'all not about that, like, I'm not saying y'all, that's what's missing from the culture. We so caught up in money, that's a distraction they gave us. Oh, I'm richer than you. I got more chains than you. I got more cars than you. What the fuck you talking about? And our people not liberated yet. We ain't got justice yet. We've been traumatized and mistreated for 350 years, 450 years, pardon me, and got no repair. German Jews got Holocaust for 12 years and got repair. Native Americans got repair. Japanese Americans went internment camps for two years and got repair. But my people, these dark people with melanin and beautiful skin, got no repair. So what you talking about? So I know my purpose. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm riding for. I know my backseat about. We missing the bigger picture. And that's what's been missing. Everybody looking for the leader. Where's the leader? Where's the? Where's that? Where's that one? We got the one. What's up? And it ain't about me. It's just about the message. And repair or nothing. Correct. Absolutely. You can't traumatize and mistreat the people for centuries and never repair them, but then blame them for how they are. Why are you so ghetto? Why are you so ratchet? Why are you so violent? Why are you so poor? Why are you so uneducated? Motherfucker, could you put us in here? To be Blunt about it. If you got a problem with my language, if you got a problem with somebody cursing when their people have been genocide, been in genocide, been in Holocaust, been enslaved, been mistreated, been in Jim Crow, been mass imprisoned, been stopped and frisked, been police bru uh, brutalized, been redlined, you got a problem with some curse words? Fuck you. What are we talking about? words how about the skin on our back that was whipped 
That's the problem. Your focus is all off. So, anyway, pink hearts, green hearts, orange hearts. I'm about to go eat, but I just want to scope real quick. Like, I realized the transition in my life. Like, y'all don't even understand. Like, my mom used to send us out, me and my sister, in like nine inch snow to deliver papers and her paper route around our apartment. My mom used to deliver newspapers, right? As a side job, my mom babysitted and she would deliver newspapers. But it was my sister and I job at 13 and nine years old to actually go deliver her papers to a whole complex complex in our apartments at five in the morning on Sundays. That's where my work ethic comes from. My mom made us get up at five in the morning on Sunday and go deliver newspapers. In the snow, in the cold, it didn't matter. Cause we had to eat. Six of us in a two bedroom apartment. So I don't know about everybody else's story and how they came up and what they went through in their adversity. Like, I don't know. Like, all right. I know I'm a three time felon, two and a half years in prison, seven different prisons. Really like 12 different prisons when you count all the moving and trafficking and moving around. Like, y'all didn't sit on a bunk with green zone or a bunk bed with another double life inmate. You wasn't on Rikers Island with your green cup waiting for water from the water fountain. You wasn't exchanging cigarettes for chicken in Rikers Island to get extra chicken in a, in a, in a hand in a uh, plastic glove bag. This is my life, yo. This is my experiences. So you see Mr. Real Estate and you see the Jay Morrison Academy and NBC and Hip Hop the Homeowners and all, yo, this is deeper than all that. Ain't nobody walking these shoes. Nobody walking these Farragamos. Nobody. Not like this. I fought for mine. All day, every trip. Ain't nobody ever take nothing from me. Every trip. There's nobody in no prison, no jail, and no street, and no block could say they took something from me. But now I'm getting corporate America, and I got guys that want to sneak thieve and take things from me. When I'm in a position where I can't do nothing about it because I gotta be a role model. Is what it is. I'll sacrifice a little bit of bread to make sure this movement stay alive. Is what it is. So, you know, this is not about me. I always give credit to God. That's why I did I did wrong the first time. I made millions of dollars and I thought about me. I didn't give credit to the man. And everything I do. It's his purpose for my life. That's it. Ain't about Jay. Jay's not even that smart. Jay's not that bright. Every gift Jay has is from the man, the creator, the universe, the almighty. I'm cool enough to recognize that. Everybody else telling you about how smart they are, how much swag they got, how cute they are, how much money they got. May God give you that. He'll take it away. Pink hearts, green hearts, yellow hearts, I'll see you. So... All we seeing is just, is just. I mean, for me, I, I've realized today I've been aggressively and assertively and intentionally, right? You know, I'm about being intentional. I've been intentionally being super humble because I never want to break the barrier of being cocky or too confident. And I realized that people are taking my humility for weakness. Y'all playing me light. And I'm not lightweight at all. Not one bit. So we're going to switch. New leaf. Change over. I'd rather you take my confidence for cockiness or arrogance than take my humility for kindness and weakness. You can't have no weak leader. I'd rather you have a cocky leader than a weak leader. So new leaf turned over. Y'all got the old J back with the right spirit, though. Because I see y'all playing me short. Like, yo, I did this. I've been doing this. I do this. Like, stop playing me short. In my heart for the people. I die for our people any day of the week, any second, any minute. For our freedom, for our liberty, for our justice, for our repair. Any day. Any day. Pick a day. Yesterday. Facts. So you got people running around acting like, you know, spreading rumors and shit. Like, you know, I'm inauthentic, but... I look in your eyes all day and tell you what it is. You can see my soul through my eyes. Like, I'm not talking this shit. I live this shit every day. Every day. Yeah, I stay prayed up always. Appreciate you. Pray for me. But anyway, um, I'm about to grab some grub, man. I just wanted to do a little periscope vent. You know what I'm saying?